Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a brioche dough. The brioche dough is a wonderful sweetened dough with a lot of butter mixed into it. It's great for making wonderful breads, but you can also make beautiful little pastries like this layered Nutella thing I'm going to show you how to make in a separate segment, which is incredibly popular and incredibly tasty. But here's how you make the dough. I start by heating up a fourth of a cup of milk to 105 degrees. Then in my bowl here I've got one package of active dry yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, and one cup of flour that I'm going to sift in my little fine mesh strainer here. I'll mix all that together and then I'm going to add in my warm milk. Stir that in there nice and smooth. I'm going to add one large egg as well. Get all that blended together and then I'm going to wrap this in plastic and let it rest for 45 minutes for the yeast to do its thing. Now in my mixing bowl I've got two and a half cups of all-purpose flour to which I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a cup of sugar. I'll mix that together with four eggs. And then I will add in my yeast mixture and make sure everything gets nice and moistened. Then I'm going to transfer that to my mixer with a dough hook attachment and I'm going to let that go for about 15 minutes until everything starts to come together. Meanwhile, I'm going to cream together 12 tablespoons of butter just so that everything is softened. And I'm going to put that in there about one tablespoon at a time until it blends in. When everything comes together, I'll take it out of my mixer, pull it off of my dough hook, transfer that to an oil bowl, cover that with plastic, and then let it rest for about two and a half hours. Once it's risen for two and a half hours, I'll take it, I'll deflate it a little bit simply by easing it around the edges. Then I'm going to transfer that to a disposable bag and put that in my refrigerator for four to six hours minimum till it's nice and cold and chilled and ready to go. So that's how you make the brioche dough. It's really wonderful. You can use it in a lot of different types of breads. You can also use it for great little pastries as well. The recipe in detail is on our website at waynesweekend.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for recipes like this, fun tips in the kitchen, and all kinds of other useful things still to come. We'll see you next time. Bye.